In a world of awful brain-dead superhero movies, where Ryan Reynolds turns into a marketing genius, one man will have the fate of a dying empire put on his shoulders. This summer, get ready to be bombarded with a ridiculous amount of cameos and references that you will not understand. Deadpool and Wolverine, I can't believe we made it here. I am soaking wet right now. I think it was pretty obvious months ago that the third Deadpool movie was going to be the biggest film of the summer. I mean, getting Hugh Jackman to come back as Wolverine in his OG suit is something everybody wanted to see. Coupled with a relentless marketing campaign, seriously, this guy is everywhere. And the never-ending list of cameos and references leaked online, I honestly was prepared for anyone or anything to show up in this movie. And of course, this assumedly being the final Deadpool movie. It was really no question that this film is most likely going to be the biggest box office success of 2024. The real question is, will it live up to all the hype? Considering the second film of the franchise was a little lackluster, especially when you compare it to the first film. But of course, the real concern being Marvel, i.e. Disney. What was the raunchy, violent, foul-mouthed Deadpool brand going to look like under the family-friendly Disney brand? On top of that, since Endgame came out, Marvel has put out nothing but terrible garbage after terrible garbage. And since Deadpool is now a part of Marvel, he was going to have to fit somewhere in their non-functional, brain-dead storyline. So, would Deadpool 3 succumb to the overreaching, stupid hand of Marvel? Or would Ryan Reynolds be able to pull off another miracle like he did for the first film? Well, after seeing the movie, I can tell you that Deadpool and Wolverine is exactly what fans wanted. Is it a good movie? Absolutely not. Did I have a fantastic time watching it? Yes, I did. This movie completely threw out any attempt at having a cohesive plot, any real narrative stakes, or really just any sense at all. They pretty much just took Marvel's terrible multiverse storyline and used it as a tool to make a random collection of what-if scenarios, and then crammed as many things into it as they possibly could. That's basically what this movie is. Two hours of cameos and random ridiculous situations. This is objectively a bad movie, but I liked it and I'm gonna see it again. So for my highbrow critic score, I give Deadpool and Wolverine a five out of 10. And for my Schmo score, the score for the average Joe Schmo, I give it an 8 out of 10. Now, normally I'd warn you about spoilers at this point in the video, but honestly, there's nothing really to spoil here. The only thing I could spoil is telling you who shows up in this film, but I won't. Mostly because if I did, we'd be here all day. It would probably be quicker to tell you who's not in this film. But I will tell you, vaguely, why this is a bad movie and why I liked it. As I mentioned earlier, if you at any moment stop to think about it, you would realize that every single plot point in this movie makes no sense at all. But I mean, for the past four years now, None of Marvel's plots have made any rational sense and have all been joyless and genuinely awful. At least Deadpool 3 used the plot devices to give audiences everything they wanted. And it's fun, so fun to watch. 
Another bad thing is there aren't any real narrative stakes in this movie. I mean, there are some introduced into this movie to, you know, get the ball rolling and such, but they never really take it seriously. And throughout this film, you never feel like anything bad is actually going to happen to them. So like I said, there aren't any real stakes in this film. And yet, it was still super entertaining even without them. Lastly, on a lesser note, there is some bad CGI in this movie. But it's almost like they did it on purpose, because there is a lot of normal good CGI in this film. So the only thing I can think of is that because you are seeing visuals that are so over the top and ridiculous, where there was no way your brain could ever possibly think what you're watching is real, they just decided to skimp out on the CGI in certain scenes. Which honestly is not that big of a deal, it's just something I noticed. Now, why did I like it? Well, it's just a good time. This movie is basically a nonsensical buddy road trip movie. Which is ironically what Ryan Reynolds originally pitched for Deadpool 3. He wanted to do a low budget, low stakes road trip movie. So I guess he kind of got what he wanted, just with the ridiculousness cranked up to maximum effort. And it feels like everyone is having a good time. I don't think I've ever seen Hugh Jackman more smiley or happy while doing press tours for a film before. Everyone in this movie just seems like they really want to be here and are having so much fun. Which you feel while watching this and it makes everything better and more enjoyable overall. This movie is definitely not going to be anyone's Citizen Kane and it is most certainly not going to save the MCU, despite what Kevin Feige thinks. Seriously, the only thing that could save Marvel is for Disney to step away for a bit. Go ahead and take like a five year break, think about all the mistakes you made, regroup, then come back. Because I think this movie is going to show that people don't have superhero movie fatigue. They just have fatigue of terrible superhero movies, which Marvel has been making for the past four years now. If you make a good movie, or hell, just an entertaining movie like this one, people will show up in droves to watch it. Because that's what this movie did. It solely focused on entertaining its audience by giving them everything they could possibly want. And more. Trust me, there are things in this movie you didn't know that you wanted. So, like I said, with Deadpool and Wolverine, I can't promise you a cinematic masterpiece. But I can promise you a good time. And I don't see anyone else making you better offers. Summer is almost over, so why not end on a high note? And have a laugh for Pete's sake. Go see Deadpool and Wolverine in theaters. You won't regret it. Anyways, thanks for being here. I appreciate you and I'll catch you at the next one.